Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Thank you so much for clicking on here. If you're new here, my name is Karina and I do fashion and styling videos as well as some hauls and I also do weekly vlogs. So if you're interested in any of that, please consider subscribing. Today we're gonna just talk through what I wore in New York. If you're not new to my channel, then you did see that we went to New York for like a weekend with my kids for my son's birthday. Um, it was their first time there, but I did post a vlog already of kind of like what we did. And so if you're interested in that, you can definitely go watch that. This is just gonna be a video on what I wore while in New York. It's technically already spring there. But we still had some cold weather, like morning and evenings would get really cool. But during the day was like perfect high 60s weather. So it was really nice. We got rain and the very last day, the day we were actually leaving. So we did get out in the rain, um, which was kind of cool because my kids, they wanted to go get donuts before we left. It was nice for my kids to see that like New York living doesn't stop. You know, people are still out there. Most folks weren't even using umbrellas and people were still hustling and bustling and going to work and stuff. So that was kind of cool for the kids to see. I but knew that the weather was going to be cool. We needed to wear some kind of layering to be able to take off layers during the day if we got hot. So I took that into consideration and made sure that I put outfits together that had... For me and Alfredo, we just had jean jackets that would keep us warm enough or long sleeves for him. And then for the kids, I made sure that I either had hoodies, long sleeves, or um, like flannel shirts over to keep them warm as well and they could take off. We arrived on a Friday early afternoon. So whatever we chose to wear on the airplane was what we were gonna stay in. We we're just gonna check in the hotel and then we were walking distance from Times Square, literally at the corner, maybe, you know, 20 feet away. So when we arrived, we just checked in. But that day I chose to wear that Frida shirt that I recently got from Target. So like a little graphic tee. And I wanted to wear something like leggings or biker shorts or something of that nature. So I ended up getting these Shein pants that they're like a flare legging kind of, but it's a little bit thicker than a legging. And it also has a split hem kind of off to the side. And they fit perfect. I didn't have to hem them. I didn't have to worry about dragging them. And so they almost fit a little bit cropped, which was fine for me because that a little bit of flare with that split hem. That was exactly the look I was going for. Now that jacket I wore is the boyfriend style jean jacket. And then of course my new purse that I love and I wore the entire time. So that purse literally went with everything. It's a really bright color, but it's just I don't know, I think it just paired well with everything that I wore. I had already thought of my outfits before I got that bag and it just worked out that it was like a perfect fit. So, anywho, so that was my outfit. Stayed in that for exploring, did a little bit of Times Square, and then waited for uh, my friend Mary to get there with her son. And then we had dinner there in Times Square. Did a little research before we went, and I knew I wanted to eat in Times Square, but I didn't want to go to the big restaurants that everybody always goes to, like the Hard Rock or Margaritaville or all of those that are there in Times Square. I didn't want to do like a big chain, in other words. So we went to a Mexican restaurant called Dos Caminos, walking distance from our hotel it was perfect it was in times square and it was actually really cool because we when you walk in it looked pretty small but then you went downstairs and there was more seating and it went really far in i really liked the aesthetic i loved the music the food was okay um, but they had a lot of options and from there we walked to rockefeller center and we saw radio city hall and then the next day was saturday of course uh, my plans were to do soho and central park on saturday chinatown brooklyn bridge and brooklyn on sunday and then we left monday so i wasn't going to do the big touristy like the statue of liberty or the empire state building because those can take most of your day and we had a short period of time there so um if not all i mean the statue of liberty is all day and so we didn't do any of that we also didn't visit um, the 9 11 memorial or anything like that but hopefully we'll go back and have more time and see some more sightseeing so saturday i already knew that because we were going to go to soho i looked up a place to eat for breakfast there and there was a place called jake's frida jake's wife frida and there's no reservation so we had to it was just kind of first come first serve so we i think we got out of there i think by nine yeah so we got out of our hotel by nine took the subway to soho went had no wait time at the restaurant i guess because it was so early had breakfast there it was really good so because I knew we were gonna do lots of walking that day, technically I knew we were gonna do lots of walking the entire trip. I only took, oh, I didn't mention, 
I only took one pair of tennis shoes, which were the Veja tennis shoes or Veja tennis shoes that I recently got. And um, they went with everything. I was able to pair them with everything, which was nice. And it's kind of um, to reiterate that a pair of white sneakers is kind of essential in your wardrobe. These just happen to have a black logo on the side, but you could wear just an all white tennis shoe like the ones I've shared before from Walmart that are like $12 they would have been just as comfortable. So if you saw my previous Target haul, I wore the little like pajama set, that's the top and bottom. I wore that with the tennis shoes, the jacket and the bag. It was perfect outfit for that day. It was pretty cool in the morning and in between the buildings without the sun hitting you, it was really cold for me because I was wearing shorts. So I'm sure I looked a little crazy, but by the afternoon when we got to Central Park, it was hot. We liked how soft and comfortable it felt. So it was like perfect for walking around and climbing out climbing on rocks at Central Park, which I did. And then uh, that evening we went to dinner at like a nicer restaurant, but there's no like dress code. So that was that day and I didn't change. I wore the same outfit. Okay, so the next day was Sunday and the plan was to go to Chinatown and, and to Brooklyn Bridge and then to Brooklyn. And so another day of tons of walking. So Sunday's outfit, I thought to wear like the warmer of the two outfits that I had taken because I knew that it was going to be, uh, if we were gonna walk over the Brooklyn Bridge, then it was gonna be cooler than other spots because of the water. I wore jeans that I got from Marshalls. Those, I think I've shared them. Maybe I shared them on my vlog, but I got these Kenzie brand jeans from Marshalls and then um, a really oversized shirt from H&M, which I ended up getting in an extra small, but it was still super oversized, which was fine. The same tennis shoes and then of course my bag, which I really loved the way that look pulled together because of the, t the bright colors in the bag and the bright colors of the shirt. Um, a lot of people when I posted it was like, oh, red looks so good on you, but it's like a burnt orange. It wasn't actually red, but it does look, I guess it comes off red in photos. I went to Chinatown, had lunch there, and then walked over to the Brooklyn Bridge, walked up the Brooklyn Bridge, but didn't walk over the Brooklyn Bridge because that takes about an hour. And my kids were already tired from yesterday's walking, their feet hurt. So uh, we thought we'll walk up to the Brooklyn Bridge, we'll take some photos, and then we'll walk back down, take the subway over to Brooklyn. By the time we did all that, it was already kind of late and my, my friend wanted to visit a bookstore there and they closed at five, so we kind of rushed over there. I think five. We rushed over there to the bookstore. We took a walk to kind of like the closest pier in the area, hung out there for a quick minute, and then we went back over to like the Chinatown Little Italy area and we ate at a restaurant there in Little Italy, which was really nice. And that night, me and my husband and the kids actually took an Uber back and my friend and her son stayed to get like some souvenirs and stuff. And so then we went back to the hotel and that was pretty much it. The, the next, next day was a travel day and I knew it was gonna be kind of rainy and so I ended up packing the green Target sweater that I also shared in my haul. Um, it's just a hoodie, uh, kind of cropped-ish green sweater. Wore it with the same jeans I had worn yesterday or the day before, Sunday, and then tennis shoes and my same bag, of course. So that was my outfit to travel back, which was perfect because we ended up walking to get donuts and it was rainy and so I could wear my little hood. We took umbrellas just in case it did rain on us. So that was pretty much it. That was our whole trip. And that's what I wore while in New York. Typically when we're gonna be like in the city or walking around a lot, I asked my husband to take a backpack. So when we are walking around and we get hot or cold or whichever, we can put things in the backpack that we no longer need while we're walking around like sweaters or jackets. If you did like this, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. And if you haven't checked out the vlog, check it out. It was the video previous to this. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.